pit swamp forest is composed of three words. Pit is a pit material, it's organ organic matter, yeah, and swamp, it is reflecting the water, yeah, and then the forest itself, the trees. So it consisted of three things, the trees, the water, and the pit material. So the pit swamp forest is in Indonesia, it's already formed thousands of years ago. So totally we have about 21 million hectares of pits, pitland in Indonesia, which is the largest in the tropical country. Yeah, 21 million hectares. Yeah. We started, let's put it, for example, in Kalimantan. The degradation of our pit swamp forest it was started in the year of 1995, when the ex-mega rice yeah, in central Kalimantan was opened. Yeah. Uh, and then we built about 4,500 kilometers long of the drainage canals. So these canals have been drained a lot of the peatland water, so then the peatland is degraded and oxidized and emitting a lot of CO2. I mean, our current status of the, I would say, the pit swamp forest mainly, I would say it is very degraded, yeah, because of the fire and then because of the encroachment and conversion by the industry, yeah, for example, by the uh, plantation industry. Yeah, including the palm oil, yeah. so this degradation is quite severe yeah, because of this kind of pressures. Rainforest Action Network has been doing some research about some of the drivers of deforestation, as I, I just mentioned. Uh, and one of the things we found in our research that we th thought was very surprising is that many of the big fashion companies have been sourcing their paper for their paper bags, their packaging, um, even copy paper sometimes, uh, from Indonesian forests and companies that are destroying Indonesian forests like Asian Pulp and Paper and April. And many of the companies said, we didn't know we were doing this. This is of great concern to us. This is not uh, something that's in line with our values. And so we worked with those companies. The first one to come out of the, uh, well, we'd say in English, come out of the gates. First one to come out of the gates and, and say, hey, we don't want to be involved in this. We want to wash our hands of this, was uh, Tiffany and Company. Uh, they canceled their contracts with Asian Pulp and Paper. And then just last week, the Gucci group, which is eight fashion brands, said a similar thing. But also what you need to do is develop a policy uh, about what you buy, what paper you buy, what packaging you buy, so that this problem won't happen in the future. Uh, there's huge climate emissions or CO2, carbon dioxide emissions, coming out of deforestation and degradation in Indonesia. This is getting driven by logging and then plantations for, for pulp and paper, and also by plantations for oil palm. え、どういったところからその紙の供給を受けるか、え、そこのところが非常にやっぱり重要になってきておりまして、え、会社としてもあの、2004年ですか、え、その紙の供給に関するポリシーというのを、ま、アメリカ本社の方で制定をし、その
というところが制定されておりましてそこのルールから逸脱をしていると思われるところそこからはキャメラ供給を受けないということで今、オフィスデポではグローバルレベルで APP 社こちらの紙は取引は停止するという今、取り組みをしているところであります。I think that for the Japanese industry, it's really critical to look at, particularly in pulp and paper, to look at what pulp and paper they're consuming. And what we advise to the fashion industry, as well as particularly to copy paper, because it turns out that most of the imports of pulp and paper in Japan are coming for copy paper. 皆さん環境が大切だとは必ず、環境に配慮することは大切だとは必ずおっしゃるんですけど、どうしていいかわからない。で私どもの責任としてはそれをなるべくわかりやすく。あのカタログ、お店、インターネット、これを通じて何が違うのかということを説明、訴えていかなきゃいけませんしあの、お客様に対しても、基本的にはなかなかまだご理解できていないという前提のもとで、いろいろと努力をしていかなきゃいけない面はあるのかなとは思っています。Yeah. So what can I ask you to, to help? Yeah, please make sure that the products that you buy from my, our country, at least the raw materials, actually they are coming from a sustainable way of Doing it. Thank you.